So, this oh, time idea, Miss Lee. Oh, you're so sure that we don't have any small idea. We're not too, too sure, you know, but exactly, you cannot be sure. But it's, yeah, it's not a holiday because you're in class now. Oh, yes, miss. Miss, I'm going to work with my father, I sleep, and I eat. I'm going to miss that line of mercy. Miss, all right, now I drink a bottle of water. Miss. So you don't normally drink water? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, anybody else that is serious? Because we need to take this coronavirus serious, you know. Some of us are not taking it serious. So we need to take it serious. And we think that children can't get it. But here it is last night on the news. There was a 13-year-old boy who got it. And they're not mm. sure of how he contracted it yet. But there's a 13-year-old who has it. So we still have to be careful. Who is Felicia Campbell? Felicia Campbell? Who is this? Looks like a parent. Hello? All right, it seems like she's not hearing me. All right, guys, so we're going to continue. Did, did you guys do your research on the impact of computer misuse? I, I see. Guys, you have to answer. <coughs> Shaquana? Yes, miss. Did you conduct your research? No, miss. How come? Well, it Alandre Alandre Yes miss You conducted your research Yes miss All right let me hear what you have Everybody else mute your microphones and let's listen to Alandre Go ahead So basic so basically, um, the same thing from last class, miss. What do you call the same thing? Like, yes. when I went on the internet, missy, um, was kind of giving me the same information. Okay, so share the information. Miss, I in some way they say it is the research. Yeah, the impact of computer misuse on individuals, organizations, and the government. Oh, so you must email it to your idols. Right not, guys, you see, you students don't listen when we're in class, and you don't listen online. We had a discussion, and in the discussion, we said that for the next class, we're going to look at the impact of computer misuse on individuals, organizations, and the government. Your job was to do some research, find out about these things so we can have a discussion. I did not tell you that it's a graded work that anybody is supposed to send to me. I told you to do your research so that we can have a discussion. You remember that? Yes, miss. So why you have to know if you are to send it to me? It's not something that you're going to send to me. You are supposed to research it so we can have a discussion. All right. So the word impact there means. Can you unmute your microphones, please? All right. So the word impact. Everybody is seeing the screen, by the way, right? Unmute to answer. Are you seeing the screen? Yes, miss. Okay. Yes, so it says impact of computer misuse on individuals, organizations, and the government, right? The word impact there just means how it affects it. How does computer misuse affect individuals? How does it affect organizations? How does it affect the government? Can somebody please tell me, and don't tell me that you don't know, 
Can somebody please tell me one way in which computers are misused? Silent night. Holy night. One way in which computers are misused. Nobody knows how computers are misused after we spent almost two hours discussing it on Monday, no man. Mr. Hacking. Yes, my time. Huh? Mr. Hacking. Hacking, hacking into it. other people. Yes, hacking um, into somebody's computer. Yes, thank you. Cyberbullying. Cyberbullying. Very good. Identity theft. Identity yeah. theft. Um, okay. Anybody else? Viruses. Viruses. Mm -hmm. Pornography. Yeah, huh? financial, abuse. financial abuse thanks guys so that is how persons misuse computers we misuse computers by using them to do things that are not right using them to hack into people's computers steal their information to bully people online stealing people's identity scamming people and so on right so when we talk about how how does these things affect people Individuals, they mean people. So if somebody gets scammed, how does that affect them? That's what the question is asking. So if somebody is scammed, somebody steal all their money, take away their possessions and all of that by hacking into their accounts, stealing their um, passwords and having access to their credit cards and so on, how will that affect the individual? Mentally mentally good so maybe the person can have a mental breakdown good anybody else suicidal suicidal very good um depression depression good all right how could let's think of um identity theft for example how could identity theft affect individuals pretending yep you pretending to be someone you can get a people do something bad and then you go up on the road them see and think of you all right so it would be like a mistaken in identity and so the person might end up being locked up because of something that the person who stole their identity did and then it looks like it's you when it's really not you also yes. in stealing people's identity most times they do it for financial gain so they do it so that they can use the person's credit cards and then this person might end up losing their home, their car, and all of their possessions just by someone stealing their identity. Now for this one, cyberbullying. A lot of us practice it. We spoke about that on Monday. It's a wrong thing to do. As we said earlier, it can lead to cyber, um, suicide and so on. Um, let's look at, let me see, industrial espionage. Anybody remembers what that is? on the screen for those who don't remember miss um industrial espionage would be like when um yes competitors use other people's like information to use against them for trading purposes or something like so all right but how will industrial espionage how could this affect the organization so remember on monday we looked at say for example lasco and Sorry, yes. Lasco and Grace, and we said that Lasco might have somebody, or Grace might have somebody working on the inside of Lasco and stealing the ideas, passing it off to Grace, and Grace come out with these things before Lasco. So how could this affect the Lasco or any organization? Miss business loss. The mother lose. The, yeah. So they lose. What will they lose? Miss um, McCarthy, if they are prepared for for drop their new brand and then somebody go drop for them one, it not gonna make no sense, right? This is so they would they lose co um, customers as well. So they will lose customers. They will lose money financially. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What about the government? Um, propaganda. How could this affect the government? People go spread false news or something. So propaganda is spreading false news, right? Rumors. So. How could it affect the government? We know what it is, spreading false news, but how could this affect our government? 
I'm going to start get blamed. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's talk with you. Speak properly. <laughs> Anybody? Um, Patrine, I am not hearing from you. Miss People Whitting say, uh, my Prime Minister um, uh, says it's certain not stuff. Boy. <laughs> People Whitting say, um, um, the Prime Minister say certain stuff and then go and go do it. And when the Prime Minister says they might do it wrong, something the Prime Minister will go charge them. If I that. But why would the Prime Minister charge them? Because you know, that thing they have to do. Yeah, <laughs> I think you have it back way, um, Kevin. Yeah. Remember now, propaganda is spreading of fake news on whether somebody, an organization, right? So let's look at the government. A fake news is spread on the government. How could this affect the government? The fake news. Because people are going to start looking for them bad. All right. So even now that we have the coronavirus going on, you notice there's a lot of fake news going around, right? Yes. So yes. How can this affect the government? Um, Latonia said, persons look at the government bad, and we know that we have two major parties, PNP and JLP, right? Yeah, but so some person might say, oh, me now follow JLP again because them tell you a lie and them do this and them do that, right? Mm, yes, yes. I switch to the other, the other party. And of course, they will look bad, their credibility will go down, people will not trust them anymore. But in truth, and in fact, they remember, we are looking at propaganda. So this would not be something that is true, but it would affect the government in such a way that they would lose all of their supporters, probably. They'll probably even end up losing money because remember now that the government spends money to do um, campaigning and all of that. So they lose mm. money there and so on. Um, let's. All right, so I've been talking. So I need somebody now to choose one way that computer is misused and tell me how it can affect whether an individual, an organization, or the government. Silent night again. Uh, let me see. Katrine. Katrine. Yes, miss. Can you choose a way in which computer is misused and tell me how it can affect whether an individual or the government or an organization? Just choose one of them. Hacking, miss. Mm -hmm. Miss. If someone hack the government, they can leak information, private information. Very good. See, that's not so bad. I don't know why you students are afraid to talk. So that's actually very good, Patrine. So if someone hacks the government's websites or their confidential files that they have, this could be leaked to the country and it could cause major problems. Very good. Uh, somebody else. Alandri. Yes, miss. Unauthorized transfer, miss. Okay. For an individual um, transferring information from one computer um, from, from someone's computer. Mm -hmm. uh, leaking. Mm hmm. Week in there, like bank accounts, miss, like bank account password. Mm -hmm. Yes, miss. But how will that affect the individual? Because they didn't give them permission to. Mm -hmm. And what will happen to the individual? Remember, affect means that it caused some form of strain on the individual. You know? So, how will that affect the individual? Emotional distress. All right. So, the person might have emotional distress, get high blood pressure, or something, right? Uh, yes, question. Say, let's look at uh, privacy. Because privacy um, was one of them that we looked at, right? 
what if you have a friend, both of you are friends on Facebook, and you left your account open on your phone, your friend went into your Facebook account and sent a message from your Facebook account to other persons with some nasty stuff about you, right? How could invading your friend's privacy affect that friendship? Miss, that instant broke me. <laughs> miss, it's trust. You miss, you lose trust. You lose trust. Anybody else? It could lead to something more serious. It could lead to a fight, which of course could lead to death. Yes, Miss Agar, jail. It could lead to imprisonment. Mm -hmm. All right, so everybody is getting what we are looking at, right? Because earlier it would seem yes, that we were not understanding. So when we speak about the impact of computer misuse, we are talking about how are these computers used in the wrong way to harm somebody. So how do they harm individuals, as in an individual, a single person? How would they organize, um, affect a company or an organization or a business? How does it affect the government? Um, one other scenario. Uh, I need somebody to choose one and tell me how it could affect the bank. Choose one way in which computer is misused and tell me how it would affect banks or how it could affect banks as an organization. But somebody mind hacking a bank account and you uh, take out the money and start using it. All right. And how will this affect the bank? Well, Miss Mena, no. You don't know. Is Think that... about it, man. Somebody hack into your account, take out your money, and so on. What will you do if somebody hack into your account and take out your money? Miss Mena, get, get angry and want to get a quote today. But what, what would be the first thing that you would do? Yes, you would be angry and so on, but what else would you have done? Um, Wouldn't you report it to the bank? Yes, miss. Oh, yes, miss. Yes, miss. And by law, by law, depending on what happened, if it's, remember what you did not say scamming, no, you know, scamming, you know that your money gone, you're not getting it back because you gave it up willingly. But hacking now is when they go into your account and remove money that's not theirs. So it's by law, it is the um, bank's responsibility to make sure that you get back this money or you are not well, required to pay that credit card balance that you oh, will have. And so how this affects the bank is that the bank is losing money because the money that the bank could be using to do something else, then I have to be using this to give it back to you because it's not your fault that your account was hacked into. It might be because of their breach in security and not keeping your data safe. So the, the mm. bank would lose money. Everybody get that? Yes, miss. All right, so I'm sure everybody understand now what we are talking about. Uh, let's look at this. We didn't get the chance to go through it. Everybody seeing the screen? Before we yes, go, miss. Yes, yes, miss. Before we yes. go there, let's back up a little. Because I had some ways. Kevoy, why do you keep marking on the screen? No, Miss Anami, Anami, Miss Anami. Marking on the screen. I have no idea, but we never do it, Miss. All right. So consequences resulting from copyright infringement. What did we say was copyright in Monday's class? What's copyright? Miss, when I use somebody something without them permission. So that's copyright right. infringement, right? Yeah. Good. So copyright yeah. is when you own something, it belongs to you. You write this musical lyrics, it's your musical lyrics. You design this bag, it's your design, nobody else can steal it. All right? So it's copyright, it's yours. So if somebody yes, copyright infringe, meaning they steal your ideas, steal your bag of design, or steal your book that you write, and pass it off like it's their own. This could lead to loss of revenue for the owner. Revenue here just means money, right? Everybody know that revenue means money. Or profit, the so loss of revenue for the owner. So if I was the one who designed the bag 
and Kevoy comes now and steal my design from my bag and give it a little different name, like change up the name. You know, like how the Chinese change up John Sport, so John Sport. Yes, miss. So if Kevoy comes now and change up the design of my bag, use the design of my bag and just change the name a little bit. I cannot charge. Kevoy cannot be charged. But if Kevoy use my exact design and the same name for my bag and start selling it, then I am going to begin to lose revenue if he is selling it at a cheaper rate. So Kevoy is selling the bag for $2,000. Mine is being sold for $5,000. Mine is the original. Kevoy is making more money than me. So all of a sudden, my bags are not being sold anymore. And Kevoy bags are being sold. So it will lead to me losing money and, of course, loss of jobs because I'm going to have to fire some of my employees because we are not, I'm not making enough money to pay them. Consequences resulting from privacy, invasion of privacy, loss of money, depression, death, destroy family and friendship. And we spoke about some of those already, right? Consequences resulting from hacking, from data theft or hacking, committing crimes, which is stealing money, credit card fraud, cause malicious destruction of software and hardware, commit act of harming people. So those are some consequences of hacking. And here is the image. We didn't get to look at it. Can anybody tell me a definition for a digital citizen? Who is a digital citizen? Anybody knows? I'm sure you learned that in social studies. Anybody? All right, so a digital citizen is anybody that uses technology. So all of us are digital citizens. I am a digital citizen. You are a digital citizen. Your parents are digital citizens. Just about anybody, because anybody and everybody these days have a smartphone, right? So once you have a smartphone, or just a phone in general, you use some form of technology, you have a TV at home, you have a Facebook account, you use Instagram, whatever you use, you are, you are considered to be a digital citizen. So just like, oh, we are citizens of Jamaica, we're citizens of a country, we are expected to abide by the rules of the country, right? So it's the same thing. When you are a digital citizen, you are expected to abide by the rules and the laws of the digital world, which is using the internet and the electronic devices. So. Somebody tell me one rule we are expected to abide by as a citizen of the country. Mr. Fee, that again, please. Citizen of a country, what is one rule we are expected to abide by? Guys, you don't do social studies. Everybody do social studies, and I'm sure you do citizenship. Yes. Miss. Yes. You must not break the law. Like what? What kind of law? Give us an example. Miss. Oh, miss, don't kill. All right. So you're not supposed to commit murder, right? Yes, miss. So I asked you that to bring to you the fact that just like how we are citizens of a country, we are expected not to kill, we are expected not to steal. We're expected to respect people's private property and all of that. As a digital citizen, we are expected to respect the digital space or the internet world. And the first one here says, protect private information for themselves and others. So you protect your private information and also you pro protect other persons' private information. So you're not going to see some, something on your friend's phone it's your friend's private information and you take it out and share it with the world because you feel like you must do it, that, it, that would not be practicing good digital citizenship. So a good digital citizen would protect their privacy and protect other persons' privacy. Uh, a good digital citizen will stay safe online. Tell me one way you can stay safe online. Um, wait, Miss One, don't put up your... Um picture them on location well you can put up your pictures because that's what it's there for but you have to be careful some persons put up pictures and their house or lot numbers in the picture 
their yes, parents, say, their parents license the plate number is showing in the picture and all of that. So we have to be careful. Some persons put up on Facebook and 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 um WhatsApp. Oh, I'm home alone today. Nobody's <laughs> those things. You cannot do those things because there are a lot of pedophiles on the internet, and these persons mm -hmm. watch us mm -hmm. and they can track us, and you never know what can happen. Also, don't yes, I know. Say not your location. Yeah, and don't give out personal information to people that you don't know. Don't give out your address, your telephone number. Don't meet anybody online and then decide to meet them somewhere. So we have to stay safe online. Next one, balance the time you spend online and using social media. So don't sit on social media for the entire day. Don't sit on the computer for the entire day. And I know you are home now, and so we tend to do these things. But balance out the time. Um, why? Of course, the screens strain our eyes. We can also get um, carpal tunnel syndromes, which is yes, how would that mean, Miss? That would carpal be... tunnel syndrome is something that affects your fingers. So you get numbness in your fingers, tingling in your fingers, and your fingers oh. can actually get swollen. It can also cause you at a very young age to start developing arthritis. So we have mm. to balance our time. Um, next one, carefully manage your digital footprint. Now we all, when we walk in the sun or wherever we walk, we leave our footprint behind, right? Whether we are seeing the footprint, yes or no, the footprint is being left. So on the internet, just like how we are leaving our footprint behind and somebody can track us and know that, oh, um, Latonia was around the corner there. These are footprints. We can see them along the corridor. It's the same thing online or digital footprints can be trapped. So whatever sites you go on, they never leave the internet. You may not be able to locate them, but they are able to be tracked. So they can track and say, oh, you went on Facebook today, you went on YouTube, you went on this, you went on that, all right? Next yes, one, respect yes. copyright and intellectual property. That means respect other persons' things that are copywritten. They're not going to copy somebody's data and pass it off as your own, as we discussed earlier. So respect people copyright. Intellectual property mean people ideas, things that they came up with. Stand up to cyberbullying when you see it happening and stand up for yourself. So if you are being cyberbullied, report it to your parents, tell a teacher, tell a counselor, do something about it. Do not sit and be cyberbullied by anybody. And you do not cyber bully anybody all right yes miss and actually you know cyber bullying is is a crime some of these are actual crimes it's just that they're yeah, not miss everybody everybody all over what that means they're not enforced much but if <laughs> if persons <laughs> take it seriously and report it you can be locked <laughs> you can be charged last one respect yourself and others and this one basically sum up everything because if you respect yourself and you respect people then you'll respect people's privacy you'll be careful of the things that you're doing and you'll be a good digital citizen you're right. latonia no cyber bullying so this <laughs> all right guys. so this concludes the topic of computer security um i marked some persons work already and i sent you your results some persons i have not marked it i'm still in the process of marking so you will get your grades by the end of the week so this concludes computer security guys please to read on your own as well um the next time we meet on that's going to be on monday monday of next week i'm going yes, to go to the sba i didn't get to go to the sba with some classes so I'm going to do that on Monday. All right? Yes, miss. All right. So enjoy the rest of your day and continue to stay safe. Yes, miss. See you on Monday. Yeah, the topic is finished, guys. Yes, miss. All right. So see you on Monday. Yes, miss. Bye. Bye, miss. Me and my left. See you better. I will end the meeting.